were never spoken. The less you associate with some people, the more your life will improve. Anytime you tolerate mediocrity in others, it increases your mediocrity. An important attribute in successful people is their impatience with negative thinking and negative acting people. As you grow, your associates will change. Some of your friends will not want you to go on. They will want you to stay where they are. Friends that don't help you climb will want you to crawl. Your friends will stretch your vision or choke your dream. Those that don't increase you will eventually decrease you. Consider this. Never receive counsel from unproductive people. Never discuss your problems with someone incapable of contributing to the solution. Because those who never succeed themselves are always first to tell you how. Not everyone has a right to speak into your life. You are certain to get the worst of the bargain when you exchange ideas with the wrong person. Don't follow anyone who's not going anywhere. With some people you spend an evening. With others, you invest it. Be careful where you stop to inquire for directions along the road of life. Wise is the person who fortifies his life with the right friendships. If you run with wolves, you will learn how to howl. But if you associate with eagles, you will learn how to soar to great heights. A mirror reflects a man's face, but what he is really like is shown by the kind of friends he chooses. The simple but true fact of life is that you become like those with whom you closely associate, for the good and the bad. Note, be not mistaken, this is applicable to family as well as friends. Yes, do love, appreciate, and be thankful for your family, for they will always be your family, no matter what. Just know that they are human first, and though they are family to you, they may be a friend to someone else and will fit somewhere in the criteria above. In prosperity, our friends know us. In adversity, we know our friends. Never make someone a priority when you are only an option for them. If you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It is a prevailing attitude. Well, go on. Big up everybody, big up everybody. Big of yourself. Hey, why go on people with us day I drive? <phone rings> Fucking jackass. Yeah, me just day I drive and I think and I listen to some things and um everybody big up on us, everybody me can't be. Dolly British, you know say you run cross my mind yesterday. Yeah, two times this week here. Yeah. You run cross my mind, yeah. Two times. Yeah, me day I drive, Tommy, everybody, Miss Carol, EJ, everybody big up on us. Marcy, everybody big up on us. God. You know, see, I was driving and me, I think, I mean, I listened to some news and things like that. Somebody called me and I said to me, say, uh, yes, Dali, for real, I swear, I swear, I'm not lying to you. I even went by your page. Um, somebody called me and said to me, say, boy, doctor, how oh, you not talk about the politician man where them kill a Jamaica, whatever a man name and so forth. And I said, you know, I don't really want to talk about it. I don't really want to talk about it. And the person said, why you don't want to talk about it? I said, because guess what happened? All of the conversation with me, I hear about this money and all of that. I say, anybody were, anybody were really in a PMP, you know? Half a PMP, half a PMP leader, they were Batman, you know? So, me not really. Once you say, once you say you're a PMP, once you say you're a PMP, it, it, it either you're a lesbo or you're a fish. Literally. When you hear PMP, you hear fish. When you hear PMP, you hear dyke. So, me not really. Do it too much tonight because if me I go talk about it, I say, boy, yeah, me yes, I said I'm on the official rate eighty and blah blah blah. The whole, the whole PMP, fish and dike. That is once you are PMP, you are fish. Automatically a fish because in a PMP cabinet, 
you have to be a fish to be in a PMP sitting. In a labor right now, a different something now. You have to be a gangster, murderer, or you have to be a thug for being like that. You feel me? I say, me now say maybe one and two, maybe not they both, you know. Right? But from a person said them a PMP, you are fish. You is a certified fish. You is a certified fish. You, you know if you even put no fish in your aki. You is a certified fish. Or you a certified dike. So when anything with that, you are fish. Right? PMP is just strictly fish and strictly dike. Period. Right? Anyway, what go on? Sharon! Yo, you are going to you know people when me not like you know. And sometimes I come up on my life and say some, something. And people burn me out and people say this and people say that. Let me tell you something. Whether you are PMP or you are labor right, me literally don't give a rass about you. Right? Whether you are PMP or you are labor right, me don't give a rass about you because PMP ass one, labor right ass one. But the biggest asshole, the biggest asshole, always be the leader. The top leaders always be the biggest asshole. Right? The, 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 the biggest asshole always be the leaders. Always the biggest asshole. Right? We can't go around that. The little people will come under the asshole, we can't really cuss them because them is a yes man or a yes she. When I look into something, when I see all England and US and so forth, where they might deport people from England. You see, you can't blame British. You can't blame people in England. Right? You cannot blame the leader of England, the Queen, for our mistake. The people them that should be blamed for our problem is the Prime Minister of Jamaica should be blamed. The Prime Minister of Jamaica should be blamed. In the United States of America, the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, which is my president, of the last saying and the first saying in everything when it comes to leadership. I don't care who wants say Congress or this or all of that have got to board. The Prime Minister and the Prime the Prime Minister and the President have the saying. He have the saying. He is the one that make law enforce law. We follow law that have enforced. Right? The other day I was watching a video when the Guyanese, the Guyanese, the Guyanese um, Prime Minister decided that him tell the United States of America, so listen to me, you see them, you see them people where you send come here? When the flight land here in a Guyana, that flight is turning back. We're not accepting that flight. And the United States of America Tell the Guyanese Prime Minister, say, let's see about that. Well, when the flight landed in Guyana, the flight was turned back from Guyana and they have no choice but to receive back the deportees. When you have somebody in a England, find them a four year old and three year old, it doesn't make a difference what crime they have committed or what have happened. And you take up that person and lock up that person and that person go to jail and do them time. Now there's some point where they're in jail, they must learn something. Not only that they learn something, but at the end of the day and so forth, you do not know if that person is a changed person because you do not give that person a second chance in life. When you remove them away from their family and send them back to a country that they know nothing about, I am going to say some things that when I, when I say whatever I said, who don't like it, that is your problem, don't like it. But this is how I look at life and this is how I see it. Right? When you take up people and send them back to their country and the Jamaican government is getting $20,000 for each deportee that have been deported back to Jamaica from England and the Jamaican government have not used one red cent and give those deportees to start life in their country or to better off. I support the deported them who turn around and take up guns and go to the road and kill people. I support them. I 150 support them. I support them. Why I support them? Who wants to say, well, you are preaching about crime. I support the deported them, whether you are a woman or a man, that go to the road and commit crime in Jamaica. Because guess what happened? If you get 20, 
$20,000 for each of those deported to better themselves and you take the money as a government and put it in your bank account and do what you want to do with it but who don't have money can give people almost five hundred thousand dollars to solve a crime because they kill one so-called one so-called kind of leaders hold on hold on one so-called hold on there hold on oh shoot Hold on there, come in no more phone now. Hold on. Yeah, when you when you as a as a as a government of Jamaica when the passport office have to verify each one of these persons if they are from Jamaica, yes or no. And the Jamaican government take $20,000 and take the time to dig up in the system, in a book, not even in a system, in a book, where in a file cabinet from Wapi Kill Joe, if it verifies, say, that one they were near Marka, that one they were near Juna, yes, in come from Jamaica, and in Ban Yasso, or in Ban Dong Deso, or this, or that, Miss Jackson, or go on, or Ray Tete, and verify to send them back to Jamaica because they claim, right? They claim that. They want them to come back to their country. You cannot tell a person that leave Jamaica find them a four year old to come back to their country. Because Jamaica is not their country. It's a place of birth, but that's not where they live. They know nothing about the country. They know nothing about laying black. They know nothing about going in the market. They know nothing. Them don't even know the national anthem of Jamaica, not even the pledge. They do not know. So when you send them back to Jamaica and you as the Jamaican government receive them in happily arms and send them out to society i do not disagree with anyone they will go buy one gun and say they want to rob i do not disagree with them and who want like it like it who want burn me up burn me up because i only can speak the truth i don't know no other way but speak the truth you understand who want say oh you're preaching violence let me tell you something you the plane come to jamaica the government of jamaica do not have to upset these deported that is coming there it is a choice it is a choice that they make when the plane land and now man man land and a man to go be the gov you have to receive you have to sign for that flight in order for that flight to receive once you sign for that flight that means that you are responsible for these people and if you don't have a job you don't have a safe force to them you don't have nothing in place and you let them out to society i agree with them go out the road and commit crime go out the road and commit crime go out there and commit crime and make the crime system bigger because that is the only way you know because if you let me out in a society then i come from a place where i don't know nothing about you ask them to say the national anthem of jamaica they don't know you ask them to say the pledge of jamaica they don't know i said go out the road and buy a gun and commit crime go out the road buy a gun commit crime right add to the crime system you cannot blame people that do this thing because guess what happened when you send a person back to their country when they don't have nothing don't have anybody and you send them back there i agree for whatever crime they want to commit it deal with the consequence of it as a government that is your responsibility because guess what happened when they come to jamaica you don't have a job for them first of all the minimum wage in jamaica is ridiculous you are paying people 250 dollars an hour for up on road all of that you're doing as you say that you're a government right you said that you are for the people what people are you for because nobody now come out your yard come kill your family or come out your yard come just it is okay for society to deal with them when we look at some of these people that then deport that know nothing about the country ask yourself this what do you expect these people supposed to do then i turn around and say well me never send a go a fine to commit crime well guess what happened anybody can commit crime anybody can commit a crime and if you and if you upset them in other country as the government and them come there and then go rob one woman does and kill one woman does because she have a big house and in her nose that is your responsibility as a government you upset them in our country because guess what happened when them there england they now commit it they look a bit what they do in england that is what they do in england but the fact of the matter that as a government 
you are responsible for the crime that these people commit in the country. And I am not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and, and, and talk, say, boy, them fit do better and this and so forth. You live in a fine country. Let me tell you something, Jamaica government, right? You live in a fine country, right? It's hard to be in a fine country. It is hard to be in a Jamaica, right? Fine country have more opportunity, but there's still a problem with the system. You are walking along the road down there, so. And a man look upon you and call you and call a name. A man walk up on you and broke in your car and take out your things them. It is your property. A man come in your car and take out your phone. And I look upon you and say, pussy, you can't do nothing about it. And you turn around and lick down that person now. Because that person have, have broke into your property that is not his property, you know. You lick him down, you go in a jail and suffer. You're the bad person, right? Because you lick him down now. He's not the bad person, or she's not the bad person, you's the bad person, so you must do the time. So guess what happened at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, you lock me up, I'm going to go to jail and then you want to deport me, you know, because of a crime, because I defend my right. The other day when the police, when the man chucked the policeman, and, and the policeman turned around and shot the man, okay, the policeman was defending himself. The man was defending himself even though the man is wrong. He is wrong to assault the officer, but at the end of the day, it is the same thing you live in America, you have to defend yourself. I, I, I am not going to say a man should go to and go sell coke, come in America and go sell coke. That is a different topic, my friend. A man that comes to the United States and decides that I want to sell coke here in the United States of America, that is a different case. I am not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and say, yes, you should sell coke here. You should do the jail time or you should do whatever. It comes. But some of these people are some of the stupid ass assault. Some of the stupid ass thing. Some of the stupid ass shoplifting and so forth. A man, me a hungry man going to go take out and juice and you lock him up or whatever it is. And then you deport him to a country where the government of Jamaica cannot even give you some salt. Right? Pregnant Mr. Pompate do one song there, there and I say, I'm, I'm single mothers out there. How much single mothers out there right now can't even find food for it? I'm pity can't go to school. Not even uniform, not even book. Nothing at all. Right? And the government of Jamaica, Bob the Great and none of them, have never visited one of these mothers and say, okay, you want something for eat as Pampate say, right? Them, them sit and look upon you and so forth, turn a blind eye, as soon as you lick your pity, then they run come talk about say they want to lock you up and so forth because uh, they are frustrated. It is the same thing when you send back the protein of the country. Because you send back a man and him and him land up an almond box. And find you let him out of almond box and then walk out the road and him reality don't kick in, you know. Until after 24 hours, you know. The best days of his life are probably the first three days, you know. You see, after that, when he go to Mars John, over there, Mars John, beg you one man go Mars John, say, me not have it, you know, you're there for it, you know. Beg you a ride, you know. Boy, me can't get a ride, you know. And him turn up and say, wait a minute. Then look around and say, where me there? A Jamaican there. Kind of. Everywhere I'm turn, no money. No clothes, no house, no nothing. Person look around and say, what the hell and so forth? What is the first option that comes to his brain? He cannot go up a Jamaica house and talk to the Prime Minister because the Prime Minister is not going to do anything to help him. He's not going to do anything to help him as a person. And you are not returning resident. When you get deported, you are not returning resident. Returning resident are people that come here and work and build their house and decide say, they want to retire and go back home. That is a return resident. A deportee is not a return resident. So when the government get up and talk about return resident, Mr. Nilko Ogle Romed one. Where are the one named Peter Phillips they call Junkin Romed one? Me see the idea them kill the man in Rome but them them sign book and everybody get up. Them give up 500. Who not give up 500? 500,000 for the man where they with that man and another man go kill the man because guess what? He might take another man on there, so you don't want to give up 500,000 dollars to save a Batman tree problem. We don't have the port here come down there who would love 50,000 to get a start, right? Nothing at all for these people, but you don't have set them in a country and they don't tell us that Jamaica is a nice country. Where is a nice country? Where is it a nice country, right? Because guess what happened? We as Jamaica, not me, because me that different kind of drunk. Uno as Jamaican, uno afraid of the little bit of legacy we wanna get. Uno afraid of the little bit of sitting where they go no. The little puppy now where they go no. The, uh, the little care, the little retired police sitting where they go no. Hmm? All of that, you don't know, want, you know, want the UK government to say, well, we're not giving you no anymore because of this and because of that. Eh? 
the, 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 no, and the UK government cut you no know, half. If on a country is so good as Jamaica, you let in the China man give everything. Why on you know, care about what the U, what the UK done? On you know, so, you know, independent, if on you know, independent, then what is the problem? If on you know, independent. We don't care about what the United States are going to do if they are cut off this and cut off that, right? But at the same time, we don't know why they cut off the little medical like a free poop in our nugget. So guess what happened? We don't willing to take the people them and have them in our country and walk up and down when family turn them back against them and so. And when a man take a gun over this and go bust one of them rascals, that, and everybody say, yeah, yes, yeah. oh, that man is so wicked. And this man is, listen, people, I cannot come on here and come, and come sit down and, 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 and talk like, oh, you know, um, you know, they shouldn't do this and, no, one last way it is. Guess what happened? Find you can't find food to eat, go look food for eat. Find you cannot find food for eat, go look food for eat. By all means necessary, go look it. Because guess what happened? Guess what happened? You know why I commit crime? The 20 toys that we get from you care for me. Give me at least one five out of it. Make me get a start. Make me buy one car and go run one taxi on the road. Make me go buy one little store and put a little business like I know say some family are UK is happy if you send one five barrel come give me forget a start. They have no start, they have nowhere to go, they have nothing. So guess what happened? I agree with them. Make the crime system bigger. Because if you check the race of, of it, right? A lot of the crime that I've committed, there there are deportees. People that have been deported, people that deserve a second chance in a life that do not get a second chance in a life because of one stupid mistake they make. One stupid mistake, some of them defending themselves. When you remove because of in a UK and America, you can't give them like a give them like a food stamp and stuff because that's all no one of black people or whatever it is. Give them a food stamp. And that's how any idea it comes around that listen. You see this white and black thing? This white and black thing becomes very pissed off to me because I realize that black people is the one that are racist against their one another. Because black people, the government of Jamaica, the slumlord of Jamaica, they are the one that are racist against their own people. They are the one that let slavery still exist in that country because the things that they are doing that say they are leaders and so forth, right? I don't know where in the world that is not even as South Africa, as poor as it is, you know, happen like that. And when you have 29, 50, 30 people being deported to the country and you as the government sit on that table, you are upsetting your residents where the blood clot you and put them where are you going to put them? Oh, no, no, I have nowhere to put people down there, but oh, no, where are you going to put them? Tell me, they know, me, they left, no, Andrew Wellness. Where are you going to put them, Andrew Wellness? Tell me where you're going to put them when they come back down there and commit crime. And then, no, no, one of the table say, Oh, people come back here. Well, guess what happened? If they must go rob a store, my friend, they survive, go rob a store because of the government of Sepono. When they're there in England, we don't go think twice, but if you go kill a man over there, so. But when you come to Jamaica, there's nothing to think twice because guess what happened? Yeah, police are money, everything is good. Because guess what happened? The average person, you reach home, the first thing they might greet you with is a gun. Hold that gun and so forth. Go look food feed. What do you want the people to do? Hmm? You as the Prime Minister of Jamaica and so forth, you should get up and say, you know what, Andrew Wallace, let me tell you something. You don't make a ras different, you know. Right? You don't, Andrew Wallace, you don't make a different whether in your life, in anybody. You don't give one rat ass about nobody, you know. You never give a shit about yourself, you know. You don't care about nobody. You have not made any form of changes since you're coming up power. I mean, you know what kind of power you're coming up. And your moliness, you know, make no change. You have not done anything. And I regret the day I even get up on table and say, me a campaign for you and this. And I regret it. It's one regret in my life that I regret. One of the regrets. Because you don't work one jack ass. You don't work one thing. You are useless. You are useless. You was better off where you was. Because guess what happened? You for tell me. Let me tell you something. Quite frankly speaking. Some of them may not like Donald Trump, you know. But I'm going to tell you why I like Donald Trump. Donald Trump coming up power make a difference. Whether it want to be good for you or bad, it make a difference. Donald Trump decides he want a wall. And whether you don't like it or not, it's going to be a wall. It's going to be a wall. Whether you don't like it or not, him say he change immigration, him change it. Leaders that say they're going to do something and do something, right? Not leaders that promise something and cannot deliver it in any form of circumstance to the people them, right? And you will just come in and say, say the constant line of Jamaica is still 15 or 16, whatever it is, and them still asleep with the under your feet. And Andrew Wallace have done nothing about it. You have made no changes. 
You have not even attempt to make a changes. You understand? So you have to tell me, say, you want to be a leader? You need to step down, boss man. Boss man, you need to leave, boss man. You need to leave. And I ask the people, them say the next, the next time around, you not deserve no position, Andrew Moliness. You don't deserve no position, my friend. I'm here to tell you straight from, me, from the bottom, you don't deserve no position. You know, for, you know, for being a leader, you know, not about leadership. Because, first of all, leadership starts from growing up. Right? Leadership starts from growing up. And if you're a mother and never teach you nothing about leadership, you know nothing about leadership. Because if you know about leadership and know what it is to go through pain and go through suffering, not because you have a big house so you can walk naked, go left, right, and center, and so forth. What about the people that don't have it? You are the prime minister, you have the first saying, you have the last saying, and you have make one damn different from your being in power. One different. But you don't sit down on the table and say, Oh no, oh no, I blame Porsche Simpson and Porsche this and Porsche. Porsche don't make a difference, you don't make a difference. What difference you make as a Prime Minister? Show me one thing that you have done for your Prime Minister for Jamaica. Show me one thing you have done for every time you come on in your suit and tie, but you have a prototype call, but oh, you know, we are going to make some changes. And what changes? I don't see no changes. I don't see no changes. It turned around that, guess what happened? The Mexican them decided so they want to dilute white women to come here. Them can't use it and transport. And you, as the Jamaican government, agree for Mex Mexican them come to Jamaica to come buy out the airport. For them can't do all of them illegal importing. And at the end of the day, when you sit down and say, like, oh no, no, I go on like, like, it's all about money. It's never about money. It's always about something else that you don't know what it's about. So think about it and so forth. What do we own? You don't have enough job. You don't have enough job to give the people that live in Jamaica. So how are you going to find job to give the poor to my friend? You think that people want to get up every day and go to the garden and work? You think that people want to get up and go wash people's clothes every day? You don't have no job for nobody down there. So where are you going to find job to give this the poor to? So at the end of the day, a poor to come down the side and say, All right, sin. Remember, you know, they can not blame the UK and the United States as much as they want, you know, as an individual. You can always blame but always remember this, the Jamaican government play a big role into deportation. Because if that plain land of Jamaica, the government said, we're not accepting them, you know. You know what the pilots have to do? They have to read or whatever it is, and they have to turn that flight back to UK. And UK have no choice but to take them back. And guess what happened? When they come back to UK, it's the only thing UK go and do it is a lot of from that jail and release them to society. Because guess what happened? Them can't send them. They cannot send them. Every country have a rules. Every country have a rules. So if at the end of the day, if you don't set the flight, not one flight and you just get up as a man and say, no happen. Jamaica, we have to put a foot down, you know. That flight there, mm -mm, not today. Not send it, because we don't have set the flight. Cut off or you are cut off. Because guess what happened? The Chinese already have enough investment in our country already. Right? UK now do much with Jamaica. I want to get the little 20,000 off of the people, I want to take the people's money and spend it off. I come up on TV and talk about, oh, I don't want to keep a track of all the poor tees. Keep a track of what the poor tees. Tell me now. Tell me now. What the poor tees do not keep a track of? I don't act like say, it make a difference. It does not make a difference. And you will know some Bob's agree and Peter Phillips and all around and the governor. Here. It don't make a difference. It don't make a difference. So when I not to not do that, either, the point of the matter is that you have to be a leader to stand for the people. If you're not for the people, then you're no for nobody. You have to stand up for the people because guess what happened? If you cannot control the people that are in your country that is there that never travel. How are you going to control somebody that leaves Jamaica from four years old and so advanced, computer, everything, so high tech with everything and so forth? How are you going to control them? When they are 100, the average Jamaican still there at 20 because guess what? They are so advanced with so much things. Hmm? They are advanced to everything. So you cannot control them. Them know the computer more than you know. Hmm? Tell me they know. And you want to say that you're a prime minister, you're a leader, 
me no care who want come and come do video at all, but say, oh, oh, you know, oh, the me I tell the Prime Minister to me, because them is nothing but one bunch of garbage, one put in a one pan around, them is bunch of garbage. Who now walk batty, who now walk at this, who now, the same government leader, they will take a people, girl, pick them, people, boy, pick them, and rip them off and all kind of thing, and give them one little position and so forth. That's what they're doing. So guess what happened? At the end of the day, you as a citizen have no choice but to take matters in your hand. And people are going to sit down and say, well, you cannot preach badness. It's not a matter if you can't preach badness. The badness is already there. You cannot change what is there. You cannot change a man that has a bus a gun down and say, man. You can't change it. You can't change a man who has a gun to go kill Aunt Matt Jordan because Aunt Matt be the one big house long as I didn't know if he live and so forth. Well, Aunt Matt go and fire and make you. Well, God bless the few of us who come to America and make use of our time. And everybody's strong. Because the, the average young youth these days cannot go to road or survive out of the road. Them cannot survive. You don't have nothing in place to them. You don't have no safe house to them. You don't have to say, all right, this deportee come, there's a program once you land in the country. You have to go to this building. You have to stay there. There's jobs. There's bed. There's food. You get at least on, on, on three months to get yourself together. You, you learn a little trade. How to do this, do that, and so forth. Or whatever. Come on now, Andrew Moliness. Sit down as a prime minister and look into yourself and ask yourself, is this is right? Hmm? Is this right? Is this right? Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job of protecting my people? Em? And you will listen to the Jamaican family, my two year old and four year old. Hmm? Two year old and four year old, them, 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 you ask them what is the pledge, them don't know. You ask them who is the leader, them probably don't even know. You ask them what is the capital, them don't know. You ask them what is the parish, them don't know. You ask them about half a tree, them do not know. You ask them certain things about the country, them don't know. If you ask them about the era, they don't know. Ask them about England, they know. They have no ideas. So when you let the country now, you say, and, 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 and the pledge, and them can't even say the pledge. Mr. Mr. Whatever your name is. Ask yourself this question. I want you to listen to that video. Yeah? Because Mr. Andrew Wellness, I can't tell you this. You listen to most of my video. Them. Me know that, and you know that. I mean, I'm going to say why. But Andrew Wellness, you listen to most of my video. I ask you, I tell me, I tell you, I mean, I'm going to say what it is for life because I mean, I'm going to put nobody under the bus that way. But you sit down and listen to my video. You see a man sit down and say, I speak truth about a lot of things. You see a man sit down and talk out of your mouth. I hear you say it out of your mouth. You sit down and watch me. Watch. The last video you watch me, and when me and talk about the things and what you do, when the girl in the office bring the video, because you sit down and watch the video. You watch them. And this is not to try to come try to insult you. But me I tell it to your face because Andrew Wallace, me don't know nothing about preaching. Me don't know nothing about putting up a conversation to make you feel good. I am trying to tell you that you are worthless when it comes to the people. You are useless to the people. I mean, know you are going to watch a video. Me know. A three last video me do. But the government and you listen to them. You have listened to them. You sit down and watch the video of them. And you tell me, say, the same time, when time, me did a video about imbalm fluid. You same one, send a plaid to me. You same one as the Prime Minister. You, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, send a plaid to me for enlightening you know, on what is going on. You same one, Andrew Wellness. Because I can't talk the truth. You same one. Come on TV and talk about inbound food. And you same one send a plaid to me secretly, Mr. Wellness. I swear to God up above me now lie for you. So, you, you watch my videos. You get them. You get everything. You say you're going to make a change. But you don't make no change, boss man. You don't make no change, Mr. Wellness. You don't make no change. There's so much things I can't tell the people and I can't let out of the bag. Mr. Andrew Wellness, me I tell you this. Right? You don't make a difference, my friend. You don't make a difference. I mean, no say you're going to watch this. I mean, no say you're going to feel away about it. Because I want you to feel away for look into it at the end of the day and so forth. How do you expect people supposed to survive? 
Is that leadership? Hmm? Is that lead that is not leadership, my friend. That is not leadership. You ask for a position and you get a position. You say you was going to do this and do that. And Angie Wallace, if I check from one, you still have not reached as three as yet. So I want to know when you're going to reach your three, when you're going to reach your five, because guess what happened? You have come from one to ten, and right now you know they're nowhere at the half. So I want to know, Mr. Wallace, what are you planning to do? Because you cannot come around and say that a woman have to come down and have to go do some scamming and have to go rob a store mm -hmm. around this house. They are not robbing your store because your store, unfortunately, and your place is on the lock and key. They cannot get to it. Hmm? You, you, you cannot. So let me ask you a question. You know. Mas Jan have a shop around this house. Where must I look at in mackerel them? And a person comes at the port and wants something to eat. He can't go to Mas Jan and beg my tin mackerel. Because Mas Jan has things that he can't give to him. Right? What do you expect him to do? Can he come up at Jamaica house and beg you some food? First of all, he can't even make it over there. Because first of all, come there, the, 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 the soldier and the police and so forth. He mounted a thing that happened to them. He wouldn't even make it over there. So where him figure? No more thief left him for thief. People want to sit and talk about people not to do this and not to do that. Guess what happened? My friend found a deport and a thief who not have a thief. The one not to do, my friend. I agree with you, no? I agree with you, no? Jump. If you know, decide, if you know, can't get to an illegal gun and go rob with it. As long as you don't kill nobody, go on and rob with it, my friend. You have to survive. Because you know nothing about the country that you're in. Eh? You know nothing about the country you're in because the average Jamaica living in Jamaica don't know the national anthems. Don't know the place. So how do you expect somebody that left the from Andrew Wallace? Think about it. Why you think about it, Andrew? Four year old. Ah, they can't talk. Cannot do nothing for yourself. I get the opportunity to come to our country. Whatever the circumstances is, you're running a problem. You do your time in a prison. You sit in a prison hoping that the government, which is you, are going to feel them and say, no, we don't want them, keep them. You know what you do? The paper come in front of you and you sit down with a pen and paper. And you want to say, you don't even read the fine line, you just sign it. You see, when you sign it, it's sent back to the UK, it's sent back to the US, it's sent back to Canada. And guess what happened? We have just get the go ahead from the Jamaican government, we are going to upset them. Crocus bag with clothes, no money, no food, no nothing, nowhere to go. And you wonder if somebody left Jamaica from four year old. How you expect to build a house down there? I want you to answer this question. May I, may I answer this question one by one? If you left Jamaica from four year old and come to a different country, how do you expect that person to build a house down there? Don't you have to build something where you're there? Some of these people have a house here. You cannot invest into something that you never plan to go back and you know nothing about. You invest in what you know, my friend. So if a four year old leave Jamaica and come here, it's not like they leave Jamaica 18 or 19 year old where them, them already soaking her sister and know look a bit about when she was school. You're talking about people that don't know nothing about the country that you as the prime minister have stepping at the country. And you go to your bed and sleep at night time because you have security right on you 24 7. You have no problem as the government. But then when you send them and once them come out of Armand Barks and go to the road, and you will just tell me now. Hmm? Tell me now. Tell me now, Andrew Mualiness. Because you know the problem with someone with Jamaican too. No found a love to talk. No found to come up and my life now and I say, yes, Dr. Love, talk the truth. Yeah, talk the truth. Also, but you know make a difference. Because guess what happened? If Uno that decides how to now spend a dollar. If we don't decide so we don't demonstrate, if we don't decide so we don't do it day by day, it will make a difference. If you don't talk, it can't make a difference. Me alone can't do it. Only in the UK, we did it about a man in my own business. Well, guess what happened? Until your nephew or your daughter or your son find yourself on a plane, that's when you don't mind your business no more, you become a problem. It hurt me hard to see you as the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Oh, you so disgusting. You is a disgrace to society. You is a disgrace to society. You is a disgrace to society. And it bothers me because at the end of the day and so forth, 
People make mistakes in life. People make mistakes in life. Nobody is perfect. People make fucking mistakes in life. Yo, if you're not... If you're not... Even if you're a human being and you sit down and you say to yourself, say, you sit down as a human being you get up every day and you go by. You drive, you eat, you sleep. You go about your business, you go party. You lay down in that bed with your family. And you feel good within yourself. There's somebody out there who are going through a worse problem than you. There's somebody out there who are in a a very bad situation. There's somebody out there that sitting that don't know where to turn, where to go, who to talk to. There's somebody out there sitting want to give up because they have been let down. A person sit down in a, in, in a different state of mind, don't know what it is, where to turn, who to go to. There's nobody there to shelter them. Nobody's there to talk to them. Nobody's there to, to, to walk them through. And at the end of the day, we can sit here and feel good within ourselves, feel good within our family, feel good that, okay, them come America and them sell some drugs. They may beat up them girlfriend, them wife. Some of them may break in their house and they, and, and, and them, them, they, they, them protect themselves. And at the end of the day, them go to jail, spend a year, two years, three years, five years, whatever it is for a crime that nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. And then you put on a flight. Not by your own will. You put on a flight against your will. 
travel thousands of miles some in shackles right police you know what I mean I come with them all the way to Jamaica them can't be use the bathroom in peace right right all the way them still them come out of jail and think them do them time them think them pay the price already and them put on a flight in another jail can't turn can't go nowhere the next thing they know them land in a jamaica process a one little boat some of them no, there's no family to receive them them not nobody there no family is there all of them family overseas god bless the few family will come to come receive some of them they don't have no money not not to have to take a taxi they don't know where they might go they don't know where they're going they don't know if to sleep they don't know if to turn can you imagine this the, the, the fear how these people scared don't know if somebody is going to kill them. Don't know what is going to be. And them let out in a society process through one window and that's it. And you will just look into it for yourself. Look into it for yourself. Put yourself in a position and say, you get let out in a place. You know nobody. You don't know where to turn. You sit down with a bag. No where to turn. You give up on life, you give up on everything. Because somebody forced you against your will. And you sit there for days and days and days and days. Then maybe somebody may, may, may try for, for reach a helping hand. It's not gonna last too long. You're messed up in the brain. You're mentally not there. You don't know where to go look at a job. You don't know the first road to set to get a job because you don't live you don't live like that. You leave your good house, you leave your car, you leave everything your kids them here. And you're reaching a country where people be nickel you. Nothing at all. Andrew Wellness, nothing at all. Can you imagine Andrew Wellness, a baby? Vision a little baby. Mother leave her in her house. There's no father, there's no mother, there's no food, and that picking at the house a ball. Nobody's there to help. Look at the other day, this little twin died. Nobody's there to help. Them call fire truck, the fire truck, them come, there's nothing at all. And so, and you want us vision this for a minute. Vision this for a minute. Vision this for a minute. Vision and you want somebody stop at a street and don't know to turn left, right, or center. I want your vision this for a minute. Forget about everything else. Forget about leadership. Vision. You're stuck at a place and don't know where to turn. Your mother, your sister, your brother, your picnic, everything that you have owned is left behind and nobody's around. You can't say, well, the, 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 the family should, should jump in and send them my money. The mental part of their mind is not there, my friend. Their mental is not there. So no matter how much money you have given them, the fact of the matter that you force them against them will. Against them will. And put them in a place. Where there's no way to turn. How do you expect them to survive? What do you expect them supposed to do? What? What do you expect them supposed to do, Andrew? You don't even have a center for some of the center for them when they come. At least them can do that. And you know, doctor can check them out. You know what I mean? Some of them need medication. Some of them come home and you owners, they need medication. And you know, some of these people have diabetes, some of our kind of problems, they need medication. 
them have all kind of sickness and jewelness. All kind of sickness. Some of these people probably have HIV, all different kind of things. There's so much things that have surround them. What do you expect them to do? You let them out to society. No medical record, no, you know, test them, you know, no, no, whatever the UK tell you, you buy it. So if you let out somebody with a problem, you don't have a good medical system. If 29 people, 29 people have landed in the country, that is 29 problems you have to worry about. And you still have another 59 or another million that you have not dealt with as yet. And now you're adding 29 and stop at that. So how are you going to solve all of it? You're not God. You're not God. I saw one of the men I walk with Kian. I mean, I say him I walk with Kian. In Kiawa, and you want us, how you expect them to live? How you expect them to survive? May I ask the boss, man, how you expect them to survive? What is there for them? What medical system? What job is there for them? Nobody is there to receive them. What is there for them? No family member. You are not there to greet none of these people. You don't have a center for your cancer. All right, I'm going to go sit down and talk to all these people. You don't have anybody. It's, it's independent people who take it to be their responsibility to help out some of these people. People that use their own personal money to help these people. You're not doing anything. If a man can't get the money and go buy one car and a taxi for driving, I look a bit. Nothing at all, Andrew Wallace, nothing. May I beg you as the Prime Minister of Jamaica, when are you going to do something about this? Don't you see the problem we have day by day? We're still living in slavery because you did not make slavery disappear. You is the leader. You make slavery still exist. You make grown people still living in fear because at the end of the day, there's nobody there to protect them. There's nobody there to shelter them. There's nothing at all. Nothing. Tell me now. Regular society can't do it. The artists them alone can't do it. No matter what we do as individual, uno still has said there's a protocol. Uno still has a protocol. What do you expect? When a man take up a gun and your wellness and grow on this and put it at a baby head. Because he's hungry. He have no job. He have no way to sleep. And you want us vision what is going through an individual head. Vigil the mental state of their mind. If you did have something in place or be a leader and your wellness, would they end up in the position that they are in? They are right now don't know it. You know much of them people at 29 come home right now and don't Jamaica and so forth don't know it. You know much of them are cry? You know much of them don't even know where they're there? You know much of them want to do suicidal? You know much of them? You know how much people go to our public down there want to look a bit of help them after they sleep and cheer with our five, six of them. There's no good doctor, there's nothing. And then we we'll talk about investment and leaders. That is not leadership. Leadership is when you're there for the people. Em. No matter what it is, you have to stand as a leader, stand firm as a leader. You have to show the people em, that you're worth it for them to even look at you. You have to. You have to show the people no matter what it is or what anybody said about you. We are here for you. Nobody is there to greet them. A flight land and now man, man, they are man to go beer. And then come off of the flight, then go through immigration. Pick up again in our police bus and take it to a police headquarters. That is jail. That is slavery. That is the slavery that we go through from Africa over and over and over and over and over. That you, as the leader, keep reminding us that their slavery still exists in today's day. Exists in today's day. Slavery still exists because you coming from jail, running away from police, and running to another police again that are processing you. You are still in jail. It is slavery.
It is slavery. It is slavery, slavery, slavery. They're paying for the same crime over and over and over and over and over. They never stop paying for the same crime that they have committed. Simple crime. Think about it. In our police truck, a transport like your prisoners. Like your trash, like your garbage. And then can't go and look a blue boot over there so and I ask for ID where your name who will come pick you up and who's there to pick them up? God bless the few family that are there for them. The one that don't have nobody, Andrew Wallace, what do you expect the people them to do? What do you expect them to do? Where they supposed to go? Where they supposed to go? Where? Where? Who's there to help them? Nobody. You sit down in your office. You and your wife and your kids them sit down and eat. You not drive your bodyguard around 24-7. They don't have anybody but the street. They don't have anybody but the ground where them stand and they look close and that's all they have. And when them go to the road and rob and do things now, when they say that them wicked, hmm? seriously, hmm? what you expect them to do? Who do want to lock them up? Because them come down there and them don't know certain things and they may break a little lot, you know, throw them in a jail again. Them come down there and them know say you can't go over this go pick off a man fruit like before. You can't go over this and do certain things and you throw them in a jail again and charge them again for a crime that they already paid for already. They are hungry. They don't know where to go. Where they are going to go? Where are they going to go? How are they going to survive? Hmm? They have they have no whoops. Hmm? They have no hopes. They dream everything that they work for. Them pay so much taxes in the UK. So much taxes. Invest so much in America, Canada, and different countries. And guess what happened? Everything that they have worked for, they have left behind. The government take it. The government take it and you want it. It is so hurtful. It is so hurtful. I wish. I wish I didn't have it. I wish I didn't have it. I swear to God. If I have it, I would have been a center for these people. When they return. When they come to Jamaica, they have somewhere to go. I wish I had the money. I wish. Sometime ago, I go buy scratch off and lot on them. So I do it, people, because I want to help people. The things them that I see happen, we don't have the power to do it and the resources to do it. People problem. People are going through situation becomes my problem because there's no way I'm going to eat and drink. And there's other people that have problem. You're not thinking about them, my boss. You're thinking about yourself. You can make a difference. We want to get up and blame Donald Trump and say he's the worst president. He's not the worst president. He's making a different. If I have the money right now, if I didn't have the money, I would leave myself broke. I swear to God up above and build a center. Furnace it. I mean, when these people come, they have somewhere to go. Don't make a different what crime you have committed. Everybody make mistake in life. Jail bill for everybody. Everybody make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Things happen. Things happen. Nobody's perfect. But we have nobody to protect us. We as black people still living in slavery because our own black brothers and sisters put us through slavery the same way. When the white man over there so will look at you and give you one job and treat you a little bit different. You as the leader, as black leaders, are putting your own people under slavery. Slavery never disappear. Slavery is still there. You're still paying people $250 to work on the road. You're bringing Chinese to come in who are slave your own people and you sit there and say you're a leader. That is not leadership. That is not leadership. There's no leadership in that. 
When a man go out there so, and I dig down one place with an hammer, one cheese all day for two hundred and fifty dollars. How do you expect him to go feed them kids? Them? How do you expect him to go and survive? And you want to turn around and say you are that is not leadership. You don't slave your your people and say you are leaders. You are not a leader. You don't do things like that. If God did treat us, how we treat humankind? How we treat ourselves? Where would we be today? If God never stretched out and helped us and give us the knowledge, where would we be when we as black people not even doing anything? And we say we are leader, we ask for leadership, we fight for leadership, we kill for leadership. But at the same time, we as a leader, as black leaders, are not making any different. Not making any different. No different we are making. None. We are the same. We get up and we blame others. The white man this. The white man that. Slavery come to Jamaica this. Slavery come to Jamaica that. And all of this and so forth. And we are still. What about the slave them? What about Nani and all of them? Marcus gave all of them that slave for us, for us to be where we are. And we become that we don't even use their power. Their legacy to empower our own self. But we blame black people. We talk about who come from Africa. Who this and who this. That, that, that. Oh, Arawaks. This, Maroon. This. It doesn't make a difference. We are not making a difference. We are still living in slavery because our leaders, that's supposed to be leaders, they are failures. They are failures, they are for their self. They are leaders for their family. They are leaders for their friends, but they are not leaders for society. So at the end of the day, when we look into it, whether or not we want to or not, we have a big problem. We have a big problem. When are we going to make a difference? We cry for being independent. We get independency. We have we been? We're still in the same position. From last year to now, more than 400 people have been deported to Jamaica. And you have, you have another 400 that, is, that was there, that deported in a 2017 that still don't get help and there's another 400 and this year is going to be more. There's over 12,000 Jamaicans supposed to be deported from New York City. Where are you going to put them on jewelness? Hmm? Where? I like to know. You say I have a platform and I can do pasta pasta as much as I want. I can talk people business as, as much as I want. But there's some time, there's something there's one thing that bothers you, no matter how much you're going and going and going. No matter how strong you are, or how mixed up you are, or how laughter you are, there, when, when there's problem out there and there's nobody talking, somebody have to talk. I don't care about no other side to uh, come up and talk about this and talk about that and uh, that and blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. At the end of the day, if you're not making a different, if you're not talking from your heart, if you're not asking for something that makes sense to make different for somebody, it doesn't make no sense. It doesn't. Where these women come home, some of them, they are England, they have been raped, abused. Defend themselves, them come back at Jamaica. Nothing for them. After the rape and the abuse that some of these women and men got you, them come back in our country they know nothing about again. Them come down there, them rape again. People rape them again, the same situation. So it's like, guess what? It's like it never stops. Police are all and pull them, family turn them back. They, when a man think about him, daughter, and the, and, and, and the mother, and his sister, and his and friend him over here, and he have nobody, what do you expect him supposed to do? Hmm? All of this with them go to what, 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 what? There's nothing in place. 
But every time when you get up on TV, Bob's the grain and what I want to get up on TV, talk about on our, on our youth and culture, on our this, on our leaders and, and Jamaica. There is nothing anybody that want to get up and decide say they want to do this at Jamaica. That is phony business. But guess what happened? On our, on our wasting on our time with certain things. On our doing certain things we're not gonna benefit you know, because guess what happened? On if you understand this, we don't own nothing and we're never gonna own anything. And if you do have something there, pray to God that you don't lose it. It's not a matter of say you born there, you have a burnt paper. Or oh, burnt paper don't mean nothing. Not even a Jamaican dollar don't mean nothing. A US dollar means something wherever you go. Our money don't work nothing. And we as a human being don't work nothing to nobody. And we wanna sit and talk. We wanna talk about we are Jamaican and all of this. All kind of people come to Jamaica and build all kind of hotel and so forth. Then bring in them people from Mexico, from Venezuela, from Guyana. The children then bring in their own people. Not even the cities of Jamaica can get a job in their own country. The cities of Jamaica cannot walk free. Them cannot do nothing. Them don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Every virus, every, everything and so forth. We have separate, like say, like, like, like say we, 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 we are garbage. Eh? The United States of America and, and other country, Canada, take Haiti as a dumping shop. When, when, when the guns, them, when the police then use and all the murder weapons, when they have to get rid of them, they pack up in a container and send them to Haiti. Haiti is the number one melting shop in the world when it come to guns. They send them down there, right? All of the pollution and all of that thing, right? To kill off people. Them send the gun, them go at 80. And when the gun, them go at 80, people them that, that are working at the plant are supposed to make them. Them take the gun, them, and send them out to society. How much of them end up in a Jamaica with them and send a Jamaica, right? I said, so what do you expect? There's, n there's, there's nobody there to protect the people, them. Nobody. We keep talking about, look at we on the map. Look how small we are on the map. Every time somebody comes on TV and them is a Jamaican, everybody, hey, 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 look how we're making our country proud. No, you're not making your country proud. You're making yourself proud. There's nothing to make Jamaica proud about. Make yourself proud. Make yourself better that you can help others. If you can help somebody right now, if you know of somebody that has been deported right now, you can help them. Help them. Because if we're supposed to depend upon the government of Jamaica, they're never going to get anywhere. There's nothing going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. You understand? Everywhere we look into it, you're, you're getting beat left, right, and center, and nobody there to protect you. So much problem. So much zombie. So, so, so much ghost. So much demon is living in Jamaica and so forth. So much. Leaders, people left Jamaica for them a four year old. The only thing they can remember is that, that one was a leader. That one was, and they're still in power. There's no space for anybody that's gonna make a difference. No space, nothing at all. Hmm? No, we yeah. And we turn around and say that we are better off. We lick a bit with tolerance, wood and water. Mm -hmm. All we can talk about. That's all. But guess what happened? We have to continue to fight. Because we may not get anything from them. We may not get anything. But at the end of the day, guess what happened? As I said, if you are a deportee and you know nothing about Jamaica and you have no choice, do what you have to do. Only you know your pain. Only you know what you have been through. Only you know your separation. Only you know the mental state you're going. Whatever you have to do, whatever make you happy, my friend, do what you have to do. Because nobody feel your pain. If somebody go to run and do suicide right now because they have deported or whatever it is. Everybody say, oh, he's wicked and nasty, God fears her, she nasty. You don't know what that person is going through. You don't know what the situation is. You don't know how they feel. You don't know the mental state of mind they're into. You can't knock somebody because they do something. It's not everybody can deal with pain. It's not everybody can deal with that situation. It's not everybody. 
is not everybody can deal with problem when it comes. Some of us may can't deal with it. Some of us will have a mother who can receive us. Some of us have a brother, have a sister, or a cousin where barely don't have it, but they'll still have traffic church out of hand. But the one that don't have anybody. We need a center. We need a place. We need jobs. We need a program. We need something that when these people have been removed against their will, at least when they come down there, some of you can lay them head. Sometime, them can lay their head and think. They may, they, they may can get a little head start and say, okay, all right, here what happened. Me have to do this and do that. We don't have nothing. So Mr. Wallace, me don't know what you are going to do. I don't know what you are do. I doubt if you're going to do anything. But as always, I'm willing to talk to you anytime. And it will be the same conversation. You have to do something. You have to do something, Andrew Wellness. You have to do something. A time you take a stand. A time people stop baby you and you understand so you ask for leadership. You got leadership, but you're not being a leader. You're not doing what a leader is supposed to do. You're not a soldier. You're not a carrier. You're sitting there watching and talking and following protocol while somebody out there died to rape. Somebody son out there rape. Somebody out there can't find no food. Somebody out there frustrating because them can't get a job. Somebody don't have a bed. Somebody don't have a simple thing as a shirt or a pillar to lay them head on. Somebody is laying in a gully somewhere sleeping. Somebody out there need medication. What you are doing about it? What you're doing about it. Only you can make a difference. You can't say, well, it have to go through this one. Whatever you say as the Prime Minister goes. If you say, you know on the flight there, it can't come. But Andrew Wallace, we are in 2019. You can make a difference. You can make a difference and you need to make a difference. Andrew Wallace, you have to make a difference and say no happen. I am going to make a change for once for Jamaica. We are not going to tolerate this form of behavior. We are not going to sit here and make the citizens that live here in Jamaica living in fear. We are not going to sit here and let our crime rate go out of control. We are not going to sit here and allow these things to happen. We are not going to allow this big man to sleep with his little boy and little girl. We are not going to allow this form of behavior. So guess what happened? We need help and only way we go and get help, we go and put a stop to this right now. I am not saying that they are not Jamaican, but people that live in America for years and years and have nobody here, we do not want them here. That flight is not coming here. We don't want it here. You have to prepare something for them or give them the 20000 that you guys are getting that them can start them life. A lot of them may get one 5,000 pound, or one 5,000 US, or one 5,000 Canadian, and they can go buy one little car, they can maybe go pick up some tools. Them. That is a start. You give them a mindset that means they don't have to commit crime. You give them a mindset that this is what happened. Even though you have been sent back home against your will, there's still hope. There is still dream that you can still accomplish in life. See and we are. Here is a start. See what you can do. If you can save 20 people from committing crime, that is Went to problem you don't have to worry about as a leader. And it don't seem that you get it. You not get it. You, you, you not get what it is for a man to put a gun at somebody's head. Hungry. Don't know where to turn. What, it, what, what the situation. You, you not get it. You not get it for a man take a knife and a stab. So you not get it. And you want you not get it when somebody wants something to eat and can't eat. You not you, you not get it. You not get it when somebody not have nowhere to sleep. When out to do a cold, when rain a fall, lightning a flash, everything. And you want you not get it. You don't know what hunger feel like. You don't know what suffocation feel. You don't know what it feels like. Don't have a bed to sleep in. You don't know what it feels like to be moved away from your kids. You do not know what it feels like to leave everything that you have worked in life for left behind. And I have nothing to start, nothing to move forward with. You don't know what it feels like. It's only them and I know what it feels like. Nobody's there to represent them. The other day here, I arranged with Joan Pinnock to go to Jamaica. 
arrange with John Pinot to go to Jamaica to help people that have been deported against their will illegally to come back here. And when Miss Pinot got to Jamaica, five people, five people that went to the forum is United States citizens that have been deported. Deported against their will. And guess what happened? A simple thing, they don't have the money. They do not have the money to pay the lawyer to get help. Five person. And there's a lot of person that are in Jamaica that are from the United States of America that are citizens and don't know and down there. Committing crime, doing all kind of things. They don't even know that there's a gold sheet is sitting there for them that they don't know about. I've taken the responsibility. John Pinot take up money and pay go Jamaica and do any part community center and sit down out there and try to help people. Out our pocket. I've used my program. Both of us arranged. I was supposed to go. I could not make it at the time. But she went to Jamaica at her own expense. Our own expense. And one time we call and the owner, owner never do nothing about it. Not one owner show up. Think about it. As I said before I go, I am not going to sit there and blame anybody. That are going through problems that decide that this will happen. They want to take matters in their hand. That is your priority. That is your business. That is your choice. Do what you have to do. Because if there's no way out and you have to do what you have to do, do what you have to do. Just no matter what I can kill off people. Nobody do that. But whatever you have to do, you have to do what you have to do, my friend. Nobody go down there and go rape on them something there. You have to get an honest brother they want some food or something like Do what you have to do. I support you in what you have to do. Because if I was in your position and so forth, I'd be doing worse than that. Don't care what the circumstances are going to be. I'd do worse than that because guess what happened? One time, your own friend, your own leader failed you, you have no way out. What else you supposed to do? People, it's your choice to do something. It's up to you to do something if you want to do it. But when you eat, think about somebody not eat. When you sleep, think about somebody not, not whatever it is. Oh no, no for now watch me have money. I have sources. Oh no, me have a little room at Jamaica where I use. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I have enough things that Jamaica where I can help. If you can try to help some of these people that have been deported, give them at least one, two, three, four months. If you have a place, you can put up some of them. Oh no, oh no, no, no need. No, 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 go ahead from nobody. All you know have to do if you want to help some of these people, when you know so the flight, I come, I come home or whatever it is, you know, go there. You know, go out there, you know, sit out there and see if anybody want any help. When I look at the people, everybody have a camera a tech. Everybody say, yeah, celebrity, why you hide your face? People are popping on camera because they want to, do, they, 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 they want to make a situation bad than it is. So anyone on that are watching that have room, that have a little bit can spear for some of these people. Don't matter what the circumstances is. And you can go out there. And find out from them out of arm and barracks. And say, if you have some phone number, you want to help some of these people that have been deported and so forth. Just be careful. See what you can do to help some of them. Because some of them right me guarantee some of them they're out there right now. I linger some of them don't have nowhere to go. If you can help some of them. If you have a place you can put them up. Try and see what you can do. If you don't have one few dollars and you can sell one barrel with some food and say you happen, we have some barrel, we are asking all the poor tea to come with your with 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 with, 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 with your, 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 your your documents that you get when you came here as a deportee. Come, right? You can give them some food, you, can, you, you, you know, things like that. You know what I mean? If you can give them some food, some one phone, you know, buy them some credit, give them some clothes and so forth. If you can buy them one hundred black and say, you what happened? One piece of land on this, you know, go build something on the tire, whatever it is and so forth. You know, whatever you can do, help them. A lot of them need help. They need help. And we have to do what we can do to save a lot of our family from problem. Hmm?
I know it's not everybody I can put up. But guess what happened? God will bless you. When you're doing good things, when you're doing good things in life, walk with God and follow with God. God will always put you in the right arms of people that can help you as you help them. I know it's not everybody. But guess what happened? You know who for help. And God will ask God for guide you and protect you. Pack one barrel, send one, do something. No for now go to Jamaica, a group of come together and put together and say, yeah, what happened? I will pack one 20 barrel. I will ship it to Jamaica. I will have a, 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 a fear or something. If we can locate some of these people, them can come and get some food, get some clothes, get a little phone. No for now have used phone, use computer, things like that. Help and see what you can do because it may make a difference. If, if anyone who can help and so forth, help. Because we also have to do our part. Because the government not going to do it. But if you can help as an individual, help. Help to see if somebody from getting raped or murder. Help to see if somebody from doing suicide. Help. We're supposed to be godly people and helpful people. Help somebody. And remember, when you like and share, when you like and share, follow me on Instagram, um, Real Doctor Love Music on Instagram. Chris Crooks on Facebook, Real Doctor of Music on Facebook, um, Doctor of Music on Live That Me, Doctor of Music on YouTube. We remember, if, if you don't want to contribute any form of thing towards me, me thing that we may do and so forth, it's for no choice. You can always send whatever it is to PayPal. My PayPal is, is um, Doctor of Music 1085 at gmail.com. Or you can send to Square Cash. Um, Um, no, you can't pack a bar, my friend. You have to do You can't pack a... Listen, let me tell you something, people. Let me say something to you. Know. If any of you want to pack a barrel and send to Jamaica, if any of you right now want to pack a barrel, willingly want to pack a barrel with food and clothes and send to Jamaica right now, you're willing to pack the barrel and you're willing to send the money to clear it, I can make arrangement. I will call, if I have to call a star, I will call somebody and say, listen to me. Right? Somebody in Kingston. I have people in Kingston that can do it. Right? If you're not willing to pack a barrel and send one to help the poor tees, Right? You know, just let me know. Pack the barrel. We have shipping, co shipping company there all over that can deliver the barrel to a particular place. We can arrange. I can stay for a writer so, and make some form of arrangement with people that are not going to take anything. That them can have some form of fear where only the poor have to come with their documents. You have to come with your documents that you have been deported with. Come with your documents. That's the only way you're going to get some form of help. That means that anybody can walk in. You can't come with fraud documents. Come with your disposition letter or whatever it is. And then you can get some food, some clothes or whatever it is. One little phone. Anybody that willing to do that. Right? I can make arrangement. And stay here so and make a forum where people can get a little bit of help. If you want to do that, you have my phone number call me because if you make a one call and call somebody in a media right and tell us where I do, then we say, okay, we want to do that or blah blah blah. It can be done. You have to start somewhere. But if you know you're not going to do it, if you know you're not going to do it, don't get involved in it. You understand? And it, if you want to do it on your own, do it on your own and so forth. But do it. Do it honestly. Do it right. Do it fear. I remember, you're not giving something to get back something from society. You're giving something because God bless you that you can give to others. You understand me? I say, I don't want nobody to send me no money for nobody. Right? I don't want to get involved in that. If you want to send me a contribution for my thing, then we may do, you can't do that. Right? You can I last year I raised some money for for someone that was deported from England. I raised some money and he got the money. When brother and Leo in company paid something, I raised some money and he have got the money. So if you want to do something for somebody, you can find you can I don't know what you're going to do, but I don't want to get involved in that. I don't want to get involved in that. But if you want to WhatsApp me, you can WhatsApp me. I am not in this long conversation. I am not in this promise conversation. If you're not talking about doing something that, that makes sense, 
Don't even get in the conversation. You understand? Give from your heart. Give because you can give. Give because you have it. Give from your heart. Make a difference. Because if you can give one or two person a little start in a life, it will be a good thing. If you can't get them a little stall, make up and a, 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 a buy one little care, whatever it is that you can do, do something. Anyway, you don't have my number, 973-342-2487. If you don't want to send me an email, send me an email and we talk because I have some things we have to do. But people, I'm only talking because I feel the pain of these people. I feel it. I feel the hurt for these people. So, so um, you don't know what to do. And um, as we continue, hopefully the Prime Minister will do something. We don't know, but let's do something. See? Big up on yourself. Keep following me on my page. I'm seeing one of our.